Welcome back. It's been quite a while. So today I want to give you three things that you can do to improve your art, whatever your art is. It doesn't matter what medium, it doesn't matter what style. Today is 4-21-2020. We're still quarantined by the thing that shall not be named, but we're all good. And I hope you're safe. I hope your loved ones are safe. Know that I and all people of faith are praying everywhere for everyone. So, having said that, let's jump right into it. The number one thing, and there's several, so there may be a part two to this video, but number one is going to be you have to art, whatever your art is, every day. <clears throat> that repetition, that professional habits, those artistic styles that develop over time, they only come with repetition. If you want to see your art improve quickly, measurably, visibly, something everyone can see, you got to do it every single day. Uh, it's not a matter of, I feel inspired. I have another video about that. <clears throat> Please feel free to look it up. Um, it's not a matter of, do I feel like painting or drawing or whatever it may be. Uh, it, it's not about a feeling. If art is to be your career, if it's your job, then you show up whether you feel like it or not and you do the work. You know, there, there is an element of emotionality and feeling that's involved in art. And it does matter. But here's what I do know. That as you make yourself go into your studio or your workplace, wherever it is you do your art, as you go in, you're going to start to feel like it once you get started. All right? That's number one. Number two, YouTube is a huge resource, or I should say online videos. I'm not endorsing any one platform. I happen to use YouTube. Uh, every conceivable style of art and medium is out there. Watch. Watch as much as you can stand of it. Feast on it. It is free information. Don't copy people's work without permission. Uh, these are living, working artists. You know, so don't steal their work. But you can absolutely learn from them. I enjoyed most of 2019 experimenting outside of Impressionism, playing around with Constable and Turner styles. To that end, I stumbled across several great artists who work in those different styles. And I learned from them. I did several paintings in those styles. Kind of going back to my roots now of just raw Impressionism. But I'm the better for having done that research. And I could not have done that years ago before there was an internet, social media, and YouTube. So it's a resource. Use it. All right. Number three. Whoever the acknowledged masters are of your field that you work in, whatever genre, style, whatever you want to call it. Whoever those people are, emulate them. Work their styles replicate their works not to sell um or at least you know if you do you have to do it with attribution saying this is a copy of whoever i know that the first 100 paintings that i did that were serious paintings were replicas of the impressionist Pissarro, monet renoir which renoir was tricky for me because of that really soft stroke he has i'm a heavy-handed artist so monet was much more my cup of tea but in replicating those masters, uh, you pick up on how they approached the problems that you yourself are trying to address. After all, visual art and even music uh, and certain other arts are all about answering the what if questions. What if I do this? Or how do I approach this problem? How do I do this particular thing? <clears throat> and seeing how the masters did those things of your particular field will help you greatly. It's a time-honored tradition. Degas sat in the Louvre uh, day after day after day just copying, sketching, replicating the master works to perfect his own technique. And yet, when you look at a Degas, you're not going to see Titian or Rembrandt or, or uh, uh, Vermeer. You're going to see Degas. But that underlying practice was always there. Sorry that I lost my brain for a second there and cramped up. Listen, that's all I've got for you today. Look for more content coming soon. If you want to support me, I would really appreciate your efforts. I don't just do art for a living to make money with my art, but I also teach others to paint. 
and I work tirelessly in the art community to try to lift all artists up. So if you want to help out, there's ways to do that. They're linked below. And if you would like to follow me and give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe, ring the little bell. There's so many things you have to do now. But do those things if you find any kind of quality in this content. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. In the meantime, there's three overarching things you must always do. you got to make art. you got to show it to people. And you got to be nice. God bless. Stay safe. Don't be licking doorknobs.